Yo, what is up guys? Zorin here with another Pokemon Scarlet Violet VGC video. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Now, today I am bringing you a team by Nishoku, I believe his name is. I saw it on Pokesport Discord and I saw some other content creators making videos on this team. I kind of wanted to try it because I did not know Mewtwo got Blizzard, which is actually really interesting. Now, the, the real interesting part about this is that it's it's kind of like similar to what Kyogre was doing with, with this, where it was Cover Cloak. And then we just you would just be sending blizzards out with with terra eyes kind of similar idea here but instead it's with mewtwo so i kind of wanted to give it a go we do have expanding force as well as an option with this uh with this mewtwo but we do gotta watch out for the um white guards because expanding force and blizzard both are you know susceptible is the word i'm trying to look for susceptible to the white guards so that's something to note but I thought that was really cool, especially because we haven't used the Mewtwo in a very, very long time since my own team, I believe. So this should be really, really cool. We do have Tornadus here with the Cover Cloak and Snow Escape to kind of help Mewtwo in case Ninetales can't do it. But Ninetales is here with the Sash to try to put up Aurora Veils if possible and the, the Snow for your Mewtwo. You've got Incineroar and Ogre Pond here just for light coverage for the uh, Fire, Water, Grass core. And then we've got Indeedee for your Terrain Control and your Priority Blocker, which is really nice. So yeah, really excited to see what we can do with this team. We do have the Ice Terra on the Mewtwo for the Blizzard. So with that said, let's just get right into it. There is no... I usually say that I'll put the Poke Paste and the Rental in the description below, but there is no Poke Paste, sadly. There's only a Rental. So I'll put the Rental in. I'm, sadly, I can't provide you guys with the Poke Paste this time. So hopefully you guys can forgive me with that. But this does look like a lot of fun. And I'm really hoping <laughs> I have fun with this because the last few videos, I know you guys are probably like kind of upset because I've been complaining a lot, having a terrible time with those teams. But it, it is what it is. There's not much like we're really getting into the, like the end of regu the regulation. There's not many creative teams anymore. So like I, I'm trying to find things that are interesting, right? Something that looks good, something that's interesting. So sometimes the teams just don't work. We end up finding, like, okay, we, we end up battling people that just like full on counter the team. So it's like, what can I do, you know? But either way, it, I am having like a terrible time when it comes to like losing. But it's like I still, I still love Pokemon, and even then, I still have a little bit. I'm still having a little bit of fun, even if I'm like losing. So with that said though, let's get straight into it and let's just see what Mewtwo can do. All right, let's go. Okay, so we're up against a oh, Kyogre Ratima. Okay, so putting up the weather doesn't seem like the best idea here. We might have to do it the old fashioned way. We might just, what do we want to go here actually? Indeedee is actually pretty strong here as well. I think we definitely get Ogre Pond out. It might just be that too. Might just be these two. Bring, bring our homie in the back. We do have Aurosphere for that dude as well. So that's not entirely... Because I'm feeling an expanding force game here. In the back. Instead of a Blizzard game. It really, really depends, especially if that thing turns. If 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 we if we get rid of Kyogre's uh water typing, then Blizzard actually looks even better. Looks better here, but I do need to like control, put a little bit of control here. Yeah, they did go Kyogre too. Okay. Okay, so I'm I'm thinking of just going for Tailwind and just going for Ivy Cudgel onto the Tornadus. That's the plan here. Yeah, he's gonna withdraw it, probably into Incineroar. I would have to guess. Yeah. Incineroar com comes out, that's fine. I just wanna put my Tailwind up. He did he go for Bleak Wind? He did. I mean, still good damage though. It's not going to KO me though, which is good. I'm honestly thinking of just going into my Indity here and just going for another, another one of these. 
Because he needs to put up his, uh, this thing now. His tailwind. I think that's, that's completely fine here. I don't want to, I didn't want to Terra yet, because if I Terra... wonder if he goes for the Fake Out, though. Feeling that NDD is in the back. He did go for it, okay, cool. Yeah, he goes for Tailwind here, that's fine. But now he doesn't have his Tailwind Setter. So we're all good and dandy here. We're all good and dandy here. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. What's coming out now? Arshifu, okay. Oh, it's Dark Shifu too. Hmm. That's a little bit rough here, huh? Wow, he had two dark types on the team, okay. Two dark types on his team. Oh, I wish I had Dazzling Gleam right now. I think I go for this, though. And hope that he's not Scarfed. He actually did Terra his uh, dude, okay. Hmm. I think this is fine though. Oh yeah, it's. I'll take the crit. Thank you. I'll be taking that crit. Straight to. Straight to a win, hopefully. Did he just KO me? Okay, cool. That's completely fine, I think. Do we go into? We go into this now, right? 100%. The thing is, I can't... I don't want to... Um... What do we do here? He might just go for a... Oh, we're Scarf though, right? They have to tell when we have one. So they just have to like... Yeah, that's the thing, right? They just have to do that. I don't think I Terra though. Right? I just go for follow me. Aurosphere? I think that's my best play because if I, I... I feel like he has to protect here. I need to protect my uh, my Indidi here, so I can protect the Mewtwo. Oh, he didn't protect. Oh. I'm so confused why he wouldn't protect there. Well, I lost then. I called it wrong, I guess. Oh, wait, we live. I mean, we live, but... We live. Which is nice. I have one turn of Psychic Terrain. We don't even have a move to use on for this. It's really my only my only move here. I 
I really thought he would attack though. Instead of origin pulsing. Mainly because of the tailwind turn. Who we'll avoided it? Okay, that's fine. He's still going for the orange bolts. We're scarves, that's where we have to switch out. Rain stops. I, I can't believe we lived that origin pulse though. That was actually kind of clutch. Okay. So obviously the only thing we have to do here is this. And bleak win. He must be a soul blessed then. Okay, we don't miss. He has to be. Uh, 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 no, maybe not. Was that a salt vest? Because he didn't protect, right? I would, I would have protected in that situation. I, I hundred percent protect because my tail one's running out. If I go for expanding force, he just loses Kyogre. Because I, I could have gone for helping. Uh, well, follow me, expanding force. And I don't even go down, so I don't know. That was that was weird. All right, well, I'll take it though. GG. Okay, well, 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 well. They do have wide guard. That's 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 a uh, number uno, right there. They do have wide guard. I'm thinking I just do this one. These two in the front. That's a dark shifu again, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It is. Oops, not that. We'll bring Indidi because Indidi is just really good here. We'll bring our our thing. Indidi because we kind of there's so much priority on that team. There's just so much of it that I kind of want to, and the redirection would be really nice too. I mean, the Ogre Pond could have redirected too, but I kind of don't think I need it. I don't really need it. Or I would rather bring the Incineroar. Because it would give me an opportunity to do something. We haven't gotten to do the Blizzard thing, but we're not going to get to do it right now. Not with these teams here. Okay, so that is what they're going with. My Incineroar is smaller. And it's also the slower one. Good to know. Good to know. I think I'm just gonna go for knockoff and Aurora Veil. Simple. I think that's simple. If he fakes out, at least we get Aurora Veil. Okay, he's not gonna do that. Pelipper. Okay. Yeah, that's fair. That actually covers it. Uh, that does cover it. It's not going to KO me, but that is going to cover it. You take off that at least. Hmm. I wonder if he just has, he has to have Rillaboom in the back then. It's 100% Rillaboom in the back, okay. Do we want a Terra here? I could switch into this and protect. I think that's fine. Don't want to take too much damage here. You did go for Tailwind. And Parting Shot, okay. I 
All right, I'm gonna go for Trick Room here. I'm switching to Incineroar. Yep, probably Rillaboom. Yep, there it is. <laughs> there it is. I love I love Incineroar Rillaboom because they just have the best pivot in the game. Going to my own Incineroar. Now he's at minus two, but he's going for Parting Shot. Oh, he's going for knockoff. Okay. Fine by me. Hmm. What do I do here, though? The parting shot is pretty much what's gonna happen here, right? I I really don't like not having a move here, though. To do like this, this is a dead dead turn. I need to bring I need to bring this in somehow, but it's almost impossible. It is. I'll bring I'll bring it in though. And go for a fake out on the Incineroar. I think that's my best play here. It might not be my best play if you would hammers though. Oh my god, damn it. That's Pelipper now. Damn. Oh, you went for fake out on that, so okay, wait, hold we're, we're kinda okay there. He probably white guards here though. I'm gonna go for Dark Pulse on this slot. I'm just parting shot out. Oh god, yeah. Oh my god, I'm calling these wrong. I, I'm so annoyed right now. I really thought he would go into um, on the Rillaboom slot, honestly. I wanted to get rid of that thing. I could have just gone for Blizzard. Is it just U-turn now? It's so annoying. I really hate Rillaboom and Zincor, man. It's such a it's such a nuisance. They need to like remove some of these things that these this, these mons have. Oh boy. It's so frustrating. <laughs> I do nothing. Being scarf locked is, is kind of the issue here, though. <laughs> there he goes again. Oh, boy. Oh my god, this is so frustrating. Like I can't even I can't even attack. Like I can't attack. It's, it's just constant switch outs. I can't do anything. I can't follow me to stop that either. It's constant switch outs. And I have to do the same thing, like I have to. Eventually, I'm gonna be. I'm losing. I'm losing the pivot war too. I keep calling it wrong. Uh, I'm still under trick room though.
I'm gonna parting shot here. Now nah, I'll go for fake out on this slot. And freeze dry this slot. Nice. I think I got it. Cause I, I was trying I'm trying to get this Pelipper out off the field. Yeah, I'm, I'm getting tired of your, your your switch outs. That's goal number one here. I had to call it. I know he doesn't want me to get a Roravel. I had to call it. And even even if he doesn't switch out, I get some damage onto the Rillaboom, which is also another thing that I have to get rid of. All right, all right, all right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. We're winning. We're winning the the Pokemon battle now. Perfect. Okay. And that's also a big threat gone from my dude. Okay, here's his his dude again. I'm gonna parting shot and then go into my into my dude here. He's probably expecting me to knock off. That's what I think he's gonna go for. I think he's expecting a knockoff here. I'm just trying to get another fake out turn. Switch out into my NDD. Okay. Yep, there's a there's a there's a witcher all. It's a boom. That's fine. Honestly, that's okay cuz what what I need is um Oh, okay. That's not that's not fine. That's not good. Or now he wants to go for Trick Room. I'm gonna set up my my weather now. I'm just gonna imprison the uh the dudes. I need to figure this out right now. How we're gonna do this? Okay, he goes for fake out. And there's the combine, okay. Here we go. Here comes the fun. Well the good news is that they can't stop my Aurora now. That's the good news here. Bad news is I need to switch out. <laughs> Into my instant right now. I have to keep pivoting. This is like the most intense pivoting match you've ever, you'll ever see right now. But I get a Roravel for sure now. He can't stop it. Probably U turns out too. Nice. It doesn't KO. He wanted to KO really badly there. He's not gonna get it. Yeah, there's another combine though. Yeah, 100 percent switches out too. I might I might be losing this though. He protects here though. He has to. I hope I called it correct. If I didn't and he calls it, then well played, I guess. We've been at this for so long, I wouldn't even be... I wouldn't even be, um... Yeah, okay. I called it right. But he does a U-turn? He probably U-turns out onto my Mewtwo, though. No, he doesn't. Okay. Nice. <sighs> this is so rough.
This is roof. Okay. Back into this. All right. <laughs> He goes back into his dude though, but that's fine, I think. I think he switches out. No, he only has one switch out now. It's Riddle Boom, unless he wants to lose his Calm Mind Boost. Yeah, yeah, unless he wants to lose his, his Calm Mind Boost. And unless he has Expanding Force too, then I'm toast here. This might not have been the best play, but I'm gonna do it. Could have also dark pulsed. I think he tarot's here, yeah he does. Into fairy, right? Yep, fairy, okay. This is the calm mind moonblast moon guys beam set. So he's gonna moonblast me. Okay. It's time for some freezing. I did nothing. <laughs> oh boy. Knocks me off, it's not gonna do a lot. That's leftovers too. Honestly, I kinda wanna get hit by a uh... A thing, but I don't want to get hit by a moon blast or a moon guy beam, though. I just need to chip this thing down, down a little. Can we get a freeze? That'd be great. Yeah, there's that. I mean, I can't stop this. There's there's nothing on my team that can stop a Fairy Terra or Lunala. Even though I have all four, I can't. What did I? What else do I have in the in, in, on this team? Ogre Pond, right? Ogre Pond might have been okay here to bring. Might have been the only thing I could have brought. Honestly. Because I don't know how I beat this. I'm not doing any damage to it. Yeah, I don't know what to do here. They could try to make it a 1v4, but I think even then, we don't have the firepower for this. I think he wins. At the end of the day, he wins. Okay, I need a double switch here. Three calm mind boosts too, that was pretty hard to... It's pretty hard to stop that when they just have so much pivoting. Yeah, here comes the Moonblast finally. At plus three, I don't even think I survive. Yeah, okay. That's fine. We do, however, have a uh, a fake out turn. Yeah, my Aurora Veil just ran out too. I do have a fake out turn, but I can't go for expanding forces anyways. That's the thing, I really can't. Call me crazy, but I'm gonna try this. Yep, that's why I had to do this. Still have three minutes to go.
There's Protect, yup. This guy's a good player, so I, I can tell what he's going for. Because he's actually really he's actually a good player. He's he's playing his Lunala team really well. I can't even like complain right now. He's doing he's doing really well. He knows how to play his team. Ooh, wait, now we don't okay, wait, hold up. That's not too bad though. Yeah, we get the parting shot off that, but it's not, I think that's okay. Because now we can expanding force. Can we take this out though? I could play timer too, can't I? I could have. Definitely could have. But I like I like just like how good this game is going that I just wanna keep playing it. I think I just lose here to the uh blast. Yep. He U-turns, but there's nothing to U-turn into. Oh, that does not do enough. Okay. Do I just play timer now? I mean, he, he wins this, no? I can't stop him. Like, I'm thinking I just go for... Uh... Maybe knock off on this. And expanding. And pray. Or I go for flare blitz. And expanding. There's the moon blast. Oh man. Who won? He did probably. Yeah, he did. Damn, we're so close. Yeah, I lost by 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 HP. Ah, oh, uh, you know what? That was a really good game. It was a twenty minute game. Jesus Christ, twenty one minute. But what stopped me? Oh, you played doing so this? well though. That was actually such a good game. Holy, you know what? We have in prison. I ain't even mad. We lost that. That was so good. GG, man. What is actually stopping him from doing this though? I think this time I actually do want to bring it. I want to bring this, and I'll bring the I'll bring the the thing. They do have weather though. That's the that's the one thing they always have weather. So I'm always running into weather teams. But oh my god, that last game was intense. Oh my god, I don't even I don't even mind that we lost. We lost the timer. That's fine. Honestly, that was great. All right, let's let's see. Let's see if we can uh, end on a good note, though. Oh, they are going that. What typing is done across my? Is it still Psychic Ghost? I'm thinking in prison. Do we live whatever this thing decides to chuck at us though? Uh, let me check the target real quick. Yeah, Psychic Ghost. I 
I'm thinking what do we want to do here? Oh! It doesn't KO. But there's a chance it flinches! But we, if we lose this, we lose. Okay. It's a Meteor Beam though. We don't go down to this, do we? Alright Mewtwo, your ass. <laughs> Mewtwo loses to that, okay, well... I think we just GG'd. We get GG'd now. Oh, we 100% get GG'd now. Oh, we 100% get GG'd now. Oh boy. He can't protect too, because this thing doesn't have protect, right? Yeah, it doesn't. But he can't, like, dip out. Ooh, it, it, it goes down to that. That's um unfortunate. The only thing I could have done is that I could have um followed me. That was my only option. There's a Torco. Oh no, it's Urshifu. Protect? No, no protects, okay. No protect, okay, I'll take it. I didn't want it to go, I don't want to go into Ninetales because if he switches out and Ninetales is there, then I kind of just get wrecked anyways. Okay, so we both both lose our Restricted there. <laughs> so I, I really thought he would survive it, man. That's crazy that he didn't. I'm going to imprison here. The thing is, if I imprison and I lose that... He might helping hand me again. So I'm just gonna follow me and go for the Ivy Cudgel. I think that's just, it's just safer at this point. Yeah, he's going for is it Dark Terra helping hand? Yep, Dark Terra helping hand. Follow me was indeed the play here. I kind of have to protect Orbicopon with my life right now. Like I really do. My poor, my poor Orgrimmon needs to be protected at all costs right now. We can't even imprison because we need to go for follow me. Are we the faster Didi? Oh no! What is he going for? Trick room. It has to be trick room then, huh? Oh, it's Psychic! I mean, I'll take that. What I don't want to take is a, is a smack to the... Chicken Nugget, so... I'm just gonna go for another Ivy. I think I think we're in like a spot where we can just um let it go. Maybe. It's rough, honestly. I'm gonna switch out. And I'd be cut you this slot. And the reason being is because I need to I need to see if, if Torkoal's in the back. They might be playing to towards or Saluna though. Okay, that's fine. That's ex that's exactly why I went for this play instead. Because they, they were trying to get rid of my Ndidi, yeah. 
This is does still a lot. We can go for Aurora Veil now. And still go for another another Ivy Kajo. I mean sure he can like follow me. Oh is, is he actually going to just Oh yeah he is. He's actually doing that, okay. He really didn't want me to take out the uh the thing. Wow, oh, okay. Well, at least this is going to do some good chunk to, to Torko. So I'll take the, the damage on it. Uh... Problem now is that he could probably just go for a... Uh... Yeah, he can just do that now. Yeah, I think he I think he locked me in. I don't see how I get out of this. Losing losing Mute turn one was huge. I didn't I really didn't think Meteor Beam would take me out. That's why that's why I was like ah, I could I could go for Imprison. Like Meteor Beam shouldn't take me out. I was not I was not correct in that assumption. He didn't go. He's not going for Trick Room though. That's something we can at least like be happy about. Yeah, there's Heat Wave. Okay. I know he has followed me on that thing. He has to have it. He absolutely has to have it. I go for the Aurora Veil. I just go for Home Leech here. I mean, I have to go for this. I, can't, I don't know what else to go for, though. I think he locked me in, though. This is, like, really rough. I'm in a tough spot. I get Aurora, though, but I won't survive. He didn't go for follow me, though. Wait, he didn't go for follow me. Why? Trick room? No. What's he doing? What's his what's his plan here? I obviously can't protect. Like I'm thinking I see wind. Ivy Kajo, I guess. No, he might he might go for my my thing. I'm, I'm banking on him going for detect. I think that's my only win con right now. He hasn't he hasn't done follow me. Oh god, he didn't even go for it. <laughs> well, that's not gonna help me though. Ah, ah, wait, it might help me. Ah, it might help me actually. If he doesn't thaw out, we might be okay. I might have just gotten out because of this. He has to. De he detects. He detects here. His best play is to detect and hope he thaws out, and then he just finishes me off with psychic. That's literally his best play. At this point, at this point, he's playing. Yeah, okay, there we go. He has to do that. Which is correct to do because I, otherwise I, I lose to him anyways. Okay. He's going for the double protect. He has to. He has to double detect here. He doesn't. He, he doesn't win otherwise. Oh my god! He got it though. Why give me the freeze if you're just gonna give him the double detect anyways, man? <laughs> Stay frozen, yeah? That'd be great. Fantastic. Yeah, that's the other... That, here, here's the other issue. We're probably in range of this, too. Oh, well. GG, man.
you you, you deserve to win. I you, you got the you got the you got the double detect. I would have won otherwise. Yeah, you just go for sucker punch at that point. Oh, wait, it's not over. If he doesn't dial out, I win. But it's gonna dial out. But it's, it's okay. It's okay. At this point, it's just <laughs> RNG left and right. You know, it, it, it's whatever. It's okay. Oh no, we won. Okay. He got the double detect though. The Aurora Veil did did come in clutch. I th I honestly thought we were gonna go down there. <laughs> oh my god! And we get the critical hit to add salt to injury. Jesus Christ! That freeze strike came in clutch with the freeze. We would not have won otherwise. There was no way we were winning otherwise. I don't think I see when takes it out. I really don't. All right. Well, <laughs> GG. I guess. Okay. Well. Oh man, that was that was intense. But we didn't really even get to really showcase Blizzard as much as I would have hoped. We ran into a Kyogre team, we ran into Calm Mind, and then we ran into uh, Meteor Beam Lunala again. And Lunala is just it's just rough. It's just a rough matchup, I guess. I did not think Meteor Beam would take out the Mewtwo though. That was incredibly sad. I really thought I would live with like 20 HP or something. If I lived with like 20 HP, I think we would have been in a really, really good spot because then we could just protect uh, Mewtwo and just go for Blizzards and be completely fine. The fact that like Dark Pulse doesn't KO, but the uh, the Meteor Beam does is absolutely insane. Because yeah, Shadow Shield, not, not Shadow Shield, but the Prism Shield does like lower the uh, damage, but it's still times four. So it's, it's essentially almost like times three, I guess you would say, times three damage. And it lived, but Me Mewtwo can't live a Meteor Beam at neutral? Like, damn, that's a, that's a little rough Mewtwo. This is why Gen 1 Legendary is just no go anymore. The only one that's good, none of the Gen, honestly, none of the Gen 1 Legendaries are good anymore. They're so washed, they're so washed now, which, which, which is kind of sad, but... This is what it is. We're going through different generations. It's already been nearly 10 generations. Mewtwo's not going to be good anymore unless it's got its Mega. That's why they, the Mega Mega Evolution is cool. It's cool and all, but it, it doesn't help the, the the older generation's problems where they get power crept. It only helps them for one gen and that's it. So it is what it is. I still love Mega Evolution though. But team was really fun though. I really enjoyed it. The second battle was really, really freaking fun. Like I really enjoyed that second battle, even though it was a 22 minute battle. The back and forth, the the intense, like just battle was just incredible. I haven't had a good battle like that in a while. But anyways, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to try out the team, the rental will be in the description below. Sadly, no Poke Pace, which I'm sorry about. Nothing I can do about that. But with that said, uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.